Hey guys, APAT5 here, and guessing by the title, you're probably a bit confused. But yes, it is true, I bought a remote control helicopter for $5. Now there's a store apparently called Five Below, and it's basically a dollar store, like the Dollar Tree, only everything's $5 or below. And um, I was amazed at that place. I always was worried about the Dollar Tree because of inflation. I'm like, eventually they're not going to be able to get anything for a dollar. And this place, what you could buy for $5 or less blew my mind. And I just, I looked at everything in that store. They had a lot of licensed stuff, which surprised me. And I wanted to buy everything that was licensed. But anyways, while I was there, um, I was there for my birthday because July 18th is my birthday. It's still... July 18th. Let's see if I could show you that. I just got out of the shower. That is why my watch is wet. But while I was there, I saw this and my mind exploded. Now I've reviewed a, well, right now you can get it for $30 on a prime day. Actually, that's probably not around anymore, but I reviewed a $45 uh, Amazon tablet, which blew my mind that you could get a smart device for $45. And I've reviewed a lot of cheap electronics, which get me more excited than expensive electronics for weird reasons. Um, so when I saw this, after um, my entire life of basically buying these cheap helicopters for like 30 to $50 and them barely working, I'm like, well, for $5, it's probably going to work just as well as those $50 helicopters I used to buy that never even worked properly. I mean, if it just goes off the ground, it's basically worth $5 to me. It just blows my mind that anyone, even in China, like, they can get away with manufacturing anything, like, electronical for $5. Like, brand new. $5 remote control helicopter. And I was like, oh, well, maybe this was, like, overstock. And the people who originally made this lost um, their money. But if you look on the bottom down here... It says distributed by Five Below Merchandising Inc. So this was made specifically for Five Below. They literally managed to manufacture a five dollar helicopter and make a profit on that. Um, so here is my review of this really weird product. It says Air Victory, which just reminds me of Air Hogs. It says um, ages ten plus and. XB. I don't really know what that means. I chose the blue one. They had a lot of different colors, which again, th this store just blows my mind. Two channel mini infrared remote control helicopter. Infrared being a uh, very basic way of controlling things, but a lot of these cheap helicopters use infrared controllers. Um, a light it has a light apparently. Um, RC, which I can only... Usually when you say RC, like for remote control helicopter, that's what you're talking about, What? but you never really abbreviate remote control. Like, you never say RC just meaning the remote control. You're usually referring to the object it's controlling, even though it just stands for remote control. I've been yammering on for far too long. Inside use, which is what I'm going to do, and recharge. Um... You would think they would recommend to play with these outside instead of, you know, potentially damaging objects in your house, but whatever. Flies up to 26 or 32 feet. If you're playing with it indoors, you're probably not going to get that high. And uh, this product should not be used in or near wet conditions. Requires four AA alkaline batteries, not included. Um, so when I first picked this up, I was like, well, I can kind of picture maybe the manufacturing helicopter for $5, but there's no way it includes a controller. Maybe it hooks up to some crappy app. Well, it doesn't. It comes with a controller, which explains why it needs four AA batteries. Let's look on the bottom here. We see don't wrench it, don't cry on it, don't use electricity, and don't fly. Heaven knows what that's all about. FCC stuff, not going to read it because no one cares. Full function, up, down, forward, turn left, turn right, and light. Okay, if this is right, that it has a forward switch, I will be amazed. Um, because it does have the proper orientation for that back here. All the um, Air Hogs helicopters I had, the little propeller in the back is facing sideways. 
So when you use the analog, basically all you could do is make it go up, down, and spin around in a circle. Um, a helicopter I did buy that actually functioned pretty well had it oriented like this. But I also have another cheap helicopter like this that was like $25 that is oriented like that, but you can still only make it go up and down. There's no real controls that make it um, function the way you want it to function. Here are your coloring options. As you can see, we have that one. And I think it's trying to show you how it charges. There's the controller. Again, all of this for $5, it blows my mind, okay? All it says on this side is Air Victory. Now, I have yet to open this up, so let's open this up after I've been talking to myself for seven minutes. Is that all the tape? Let's just take off all the tape. I don't want to have to deal with this stuff. And just opening up anything. Okay, there's a the little controller. Um, so yes, it has a left and right stick and an up and down stick. This will obviously make it go up and down. Heaven knows what this will do. Um, probably nothing. If you've ever played with air hogs, you will know that um, you usually can only make them go up and down and maybe you can get them go around in a circle. I've never been able to control those things properly. What interests me though is in the center of this, it looks scarily like a USB plug. Also, there's like nothing in the center of it. It's really cheap. What they probably did was get a bunch of um, pre-made components and were able to slap this thing together really cheap like. It actually has a screw in it. Attention to detail. It's shiny for absolutely no reason. And it's, is it twisty tied down? If this is twisty tied down, I'll be impressed. It did. Think of the level of like, like I know this kind of stuff is completely normal. I'm not blown away by twisty ties, but someone or some machine had to twist that on there. And that's just another level in the manufacturing process, which, you know, costs a bit more to do. I, the only way I could believe you would make a profit on something like this is if like you had your 14 year old son building these in your garage. I, for free. Like how the heck? Did I already break it? <laughs> oh no, don't break it. Try and take it out of the packaging. Okay, I already discombobulated a part of the helicopter, but um, I might just be able to poke that back in place. Ignore. Oh my gosh. Be gentle while taking this out of the packaging is my um, foreshadow. You know what? I'm just going to cut it out of here. Okay, in order for this thing to be worth any money, it just has to go up in the air for me. That's all I'm asking for it to do. Um, that's all I'm really expecting for $5. There's this little plastic bit here, and I thought it fell off, but it's literally taped down. I don't know what that is for. Um, maybe it's a backup piece in case something breaks. Maybe I have to put it up here. I do. What the heck? Like, there's a, um, a, jolt, a joint up here. That's what is taped to the bottom. Did that come off and like someone in the factory just taped it on there because they're like, or is that how it's supposed to be? I'll try to fly it the way it is right now. Um, what popped off was I was tugging on here. Huh, it seems to re have attached itself. It is made out of a flimsy plastic. I am actually surprised this part isn't more flimsy. Um, all this is, of course, but, huh. Build quality is odd. Ah, yes, okay. This it doesn't do anything. There's no wires going to it. There's no electricity going to it. And that is what the other cheap one was like, the $25 one that I have. The one that actually flies correctly, this thing spins so you can make it go forwards. Um, so this is probably just going to go up and down. I have no idea how it's going to attempt to turn. Probably, maybe something to do with this. I really don't know what making... Heaven knows. Um, there's probably someone out there in the world who knew how to fly air hogs properly. I spent three years playing with those dang things uh, when I was younger, and I have never been able to figure out how to work them besides going up and down and possibly in a circle. So, um, excuse me while I attempt to get this thing to work. Wow. Okay, that you know that picture on the back of the box I showed you of it charging? Where it's literally just sitting on the controller? 
it has like a USB plug in the bottom of it and it slots into there. It might not even be USB. I wouldn't be surprised if it is USB though because that's a standard size and that's probably how they were able to make this so cheap. I'm gonna go put batteries in this and charge it. So I stuck it on there. I also, um, it does take four AA batteries. I press the power button and there's a slot in here where it seems like the there should be a button, but it's actually an LED that tells you the controller is on. Now, when I plugged it in, these green lights turned on. I don't know if that means it came with a charge or if it's charging. So I looked in the box and this thing came with a manual. How the heck does something this cheap come with a manual? And it's not like um, cheap paper, it's like glossy paper. However, I believe, I think, yes, this was folded backwards. Um, great job, guys. Introduction. Thank you for purchasing this remote control helicopter. Before flying the helicopter, please carefully read this instruction manual and keep it for future reference. You know what? That is proper English. I was expecting worse. Uh, this is an indoor only helicopter. Sunlight will interfere with the infrared light lights emitting from the transmitter, so flying the helicopter outdoors is not recommended. Okay, this is definitely proper English, and um, they seem to know what they're talking about, so I'm going to take them seriously, although I have never had problems with flying air hogs outside. Maybe air hogs don't use infrared. I could have sworn they did. Anyways, it never says on the box that this is an indoor helicopter, but... Uh, makes sense, I guess. Aha, so it does say when the green light turns off, if it will ever focus. When the green light turns off, the helicopter is fully charged. So we wait for our little blue and green friend here to uh, be fully charged. I didn't have to turn on the controller for it to start charging. So um, just pop it on there and you're ready to go. Here's something though that I feel like uh, should be explained. I feel like they're ripping people off a little bit with this. Um, not price-wise, but just in, like, marketing or informing the customer. It says it ascends, descends, turns left, and turns right, which I think what it really means is it just spins. Like, the base here will spin around left or right. I'm not exactly sure how it would, like, move forwards and turn, because it's still not saying how you move forwards, and those are the only controls. Um, and then on the back, though, it says... Helicopter rotor doesn't spin. Check these things. There is no way this thing's going to spin. I'm not sure if this thing is a rotor, but I feel like most people who would be looking at that troubleshooting question would be questioning why this thing isn't spinning. Um, and it's also because the autofocus isn't functioning currently. I have no clue why. There you go. You can watch me spin this thing. Okay, so the green light is officially off. And I put the other thing that was taped to the bottom back on here. And it seems to give it more balance, but it's stiffer. I'm not sure if that's a bad or a good thing. Maybe it will help it turn. Heaven knows. Um, I don't know why that was off. Maybe it fell off in the factory, so they just taped it to the box. Um, so let's go fly it. As we can see the flashing light in the middle of the floor, I'm now going to fly it up into a fan. Um, okay. So I have absolutely no <laughs> control over which direction it's going. The cat has come to investigate. So as I uh, hold it here, trying to get it to hover, it seems to constantly wants to go in one direction. Um, but it is handling about as accurately as any other air hog I have flown, which is amazing for $5. There, I got it to fly straight up and back down. I did a thing. Um, 
It is indeed a remote control helicopter for $5. It's pretty crap, but it's about as crap as those $25 ones. So, I'm still amazed that you can do this for $5. Um, I'm going to stop recording now due to the fact that my cat has seen some traumatizing things. Now, I did get some pretty ridiculous comments and then some really pointless comments and more comments about my fingernails than I really would have thought. Um, I've had videos that have my fingernails in much worse condition.